The Spokane Valley Police are still looking for three men who robbed a house late this morning, and they may be armed. The house is on the 14,200 block of East 8th. It's the home of Ernie Creech, the son of Scott Creech, the man who was killed by Spokane Sheriff's Deputy Brian Herzl in August. KXY 4's Tori Brunetti live at the scene. And Tori, Mrs. Creech came home while the thieves were still in the house? She came home around noon this afternoon with her two small children and she noticed there were some men inside her house. At first, she thought they were contractors or husband hired, but it turns out those men were inside to do a very much different job. At this point, there's nothing really all that surprising to me now. Ernie Creech says it has been a rough year for his family. First, his dad was shot by a Spokane Valley police officer. Then today, his house was broken into, and the law enforcement agency his family has been at odds with over his father's death was called to protect his property and his family. I'm obviously mixed. I mean, they're putting a lot of resources into this. They've they had a helicopter in the air. They've had, uh, they've had cars scattered throughout the neighborhood. They had that right off the bat within minutes. Three men kicked in the back door and ransacked the house. They filled a basket with valuables and had taken the TV off the wall when Ernie Creech's wife came home with her two young children. She actually saw them in the house before she got in, but she thought I'd hired some contractors to possibly do some work on the closets. And so she went on in. The men ran away the second they heard her in the house. Two went out the back door. The other climbed out the bathroom window. They didn't make it out with the TV or the basket. They did steal credit cards, a checkbook, a phone, and a semi-automatic pistol. It's because they took that pistol. Nearby schools went on lockdown for about a half an hour. Investigators searched the neighborhood and found nothing. Ernie Creech says officers put a lot of effort into today's investigation, but he is having a hard time separating their efforts today and what happened to his dad. I'm glad that they're they're putting a lot of effort into this, but at the same time, uh, you know, they the thieves could take everything in my house, but it's not going to uh, take back what what the sheriff took from uh, took from our family. And there are three suspects are all described as white men in their 20s, and one of them has curly hair. In the Spokane Valley, Tori Brunetti, KXOY4 HD News.